Splendid. Now then, what about everything else? Is everything for the plan in place? Yes, sir. To your exact specifications and details. The subject has regained consciousness, sir. Ah, good. You're awake. Where are we? And what is that, you ask? Oh, well, that's a robotic anthropomorphic mouse lab helper. One of... Oh, I forget. I've destroyed so many of them. But I did make them, so it's not like it matters. In fact, watch. Clap for me. Applaud for my genius number 580. Do it. Y yes, sir. <laughs> See? <laughs> Who cares if they're a sentient level AI? Now, on to the where. We are at my labs. 590, clean this mess up. The body is leaking oil everywhere. Y yes, sir. Right away, sir. You know what they say. To truly have good help, you have to make it or pay a lot to find it. <laughs> hey, get your paws off of me. My clothing may not be expensive, but still. Look at Copley. Oh, what if the hurts you? Ah, boys, wonderful. Let them through, 530. Yes, sir. What's with you and all the same looking robot, Dr. V? And they're all little Mises, too. Yeah, Butch, they are. But anyway, what about our money, Dr. V? We found them for you, so that has to mean something, right? They're all modeled after one mouse. But that is not the matter at hand. You only did half the work, which means you will only get half the pay and be happy with it. What? We had a deep. Please calm down, kid. <laughs> yes, do listen to the brain cell devoid hunk of beef and remember who you're talking to and who is paying you. Yes, yes sir, sir, Dr. 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 Volupis. Oh, I do love a subservient henchman. Don't you? Oh, you're no fun. Hmm. Anyway, I do think it's time to fill you in on all the details on why you're here. But pushing you strapped to this wheelchair is grunt work. So, Butch, get grunting. <laughs> <laughs> and push this wheelchair for me. So... Me and our new friend here can talk some. <clears throat> Welcome to my laboratory. I have many things going on right now, as you can see. But with you here, I can finally work on the one thing that matters. And what's that, you may ask? Ask me. Oh, how kind of you to ask. You see, you are the one missing piece of the plan to take over all the other world's dimension. And with your help, I can do it. Well, your blood or your body or something. <laughs> You're gonna hurt them, but... But they're nice, Dr. Hey, v. hey, Butch, um, maybe we should just shut up. We don't wanna... Yes, do shut up. Oh, you want me to stop? Is Kitty choking? Look at his gold now. Fine, then. I'll let him go. Uh, 
fucking psycho. Are you okay, Kaz? Y- yeah, just keep pushing the chair. Oh, okay, Kaz. Indeed. On with the tour of my labs. <laughs> Over here we have... Hmm. Oh, you think I was mean, unkind, (laughs) evil? Funny you say that. Many have begun to call me a (laughs) villain. But that gave me a brilliant idea. What if I used my teleportation device to go to the other worlds? And yes, take them over. But how? Then I had the idea. Why don't I just skip that bump in the road and simply have the other villains of their worlds help me take over their world in exchange for giving it to them? All those worlds warped little armies at my will. Ah, but here we are. The main part of the tour. My rebuilt teleportation device. Da 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 da. It would have taken me years to rebuild this. But with using the money I had left to make my little lab helpers in the factory, making tons of them, that was easy. Your teleportation device is fully powered up and ready for its first test trip, sir. All we need is the final component. Oh, goody. This will be so much fun. Won't it be fun? Go on. Say it will be fun. You know it will be. (laughs) You bore me. 530. Can we muzzle them? Do we even have muzzles that would fit a human? No, sir. I do not believe we have any of that size and dimensions. Oh, well then. Sample gun, please. 530. Oh, don't be so jumpy. I just want to take a small vial of your blood. If my theory is right, that's why the good old Doc wanted to test your blood so badly. He knew it was the key. I can't let you do that, Vincent. I told you the fox I once was died long ago in the blast when you tampered with my teleportation device. Your device was unstable from the start. You were just too driven mad by the idea that there were truly other worlds out there that you couldn't see it. (laughs) You're still ranting about how I'm insane. You've been to the other worlds, Doc. You've seen them. I've hacked your notes. I know that you've seen all kinds of things. Dragons and all sorts of other wonders. Even monsters like me. 530, quickly, put this into the device. Vincent, you mustn't do this. It will tear the fabric of the dimensions, and with a portal that unstable, who knows what could come through it. Don't worry about that. Worry about your human friend here. That was a warning shot. If you continue, I will shoot. Look, uh, Dr. V, I, I, I ain't sure about this. I mean... Doc seems to know his stuff, and that that, that portal looks kind of unsafe. Oh, shut up. Kids, he's gonna hurt the nice human. Butcher, this is between them, the two doctors. No, kids. I don't want to let him hurt him. What the hell do you think you're doing? (laughs) You're a mean fox. What the hell did you just do, Butcher? That guy was pretty much our boss. And and you just decked him with a club? I'm sorry, kids. Nah, nah, it's fine. I just didn't think you had it in you. Oh, dear. Lab security. 
Shut your mouth, mousy, or I'll play a game of cat and mouse with you. Good. Um, uh, oh, okay. Doc, look, we, uh, we, uh... Here you go, Doc. I know you all heard him none, so they're safe with you. Oh, come on, Butcher. That was our one bargaining chip, and you give it up. No, that was the one move you could have made that would have not made me leave you here for security to find, and then take you, and most likely Dr. Volubus would perform some horrible unspeakable tests on you that you would most likely die after. Oh, uh, okay then. But we have to hurry. The implant in his skull probably absorbed most of the impact. He's most likely unconscious, not dead. We should get going and fast. Don't worry, I hit him hard. I see. Nonetheless, we should get moving. Let me unstrap you. <sighs> I do hope this hero thing doesn't become a new hobby for me. All right, let's go. You two come with us as well. I may need your help. And yours as well, Cassidy.